I'm James. And I'm Ed. And we're both punch loafers here in sunny Cambridge. We've been hunting this river for as long as we can remember. And we figured it was about time we broadened our horizons a bit. We're planning on polling the planet. So one of the reasons that we want to undertake these unique river journeys is because we really feel that we have a connection to the people in these countries through a freak of social evolution that we just wouldn't have as an as a average tourist. Well, the river here really is just a leisure park, essentially. Um, Whereas in all these countries we'll be visiting, the river is so vital to their everyday life. And that's what interests us the most, is how the river sort of feeds into the lives and livelihoods of the people that inhabit the banks. Because we do have this, this, this marked similarity on one level. You know, the, the river's entirely responsible for, for our income um, and our, our livelihood, and, that, and it is our way of life, you know, as it is elsewhere. Um, and there's not many people left in, in our country who can say that. So it's, uh, it's coming up to late evening, and we're going to go up river now to explore the upper reaches. And uh, we've got to get over this obstacle, which is the, what's known as the rollers. The rollers um, are to make it easy, in theory, make it easy to get boats up and down between the higher level and the lower level of the river. We're on the lower level now, so we've got to drag the boat up. Um, it's a heavy boat. I was falling in there. I think I actually just pulled a muscle. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> yeah, but like, Communication, I'm James. Pole. Communication. I'm able to pole. You can have pole, and I'll jump on next to you. So for the second time today, my foot is wet. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect wood pole. Is it? Like stacks of wood just there. Should we get some wood? Well, uh, how, I mean, can we, can we see from the house pretty yeah, obviously? Yeah, just with the, with the gorilla. gorilla raid. Okay, should we try yeah. it? Where is that? Where is that? It's really <laughs> close, isn't it? You're right. It's just there, look. Yeah, it's yeah, we do wood. need to get that. Okay, go in, mate. Go okay, in. we'll do a gorilla raid. Okay, so you run our stack, then. Yeah? I run you stack. You run our stack. On the road. But then I'm the one who's going to get busted. Okay, I'll go. We normally stop at a house up here on the right, which is about 500 metres down. But we've just seen a massive pile of prime cut firewood. And it only seems fair, we've not been robbing off these other people for and years now. We also probably get yeah. that. <laughs> we better share point. it around, eh? Yeah. Okay, so I'll run. You, you stand up here. Yeah. This doesn't look good, does it, really? Make it look like stand up gents. If anyone's coming, I'll make a noise like a sheep. Ooh. The sheep are, are, are like, they're like <laughs> sounding the warning. <laughs> oh. We're getting driven out by the sheep. <laughs> At this point, I feel it should be added that I'm actually better at punting than Ed. He'd never admit it, but I've been working the river for quite a few years, well, a few years longer than him, and I think that... But you know what, though, that great sometimes, experience. sometimes, buddy, I, I just think that natural talent shines through, you know? And it's kind of sad you've had to put in this much practice to only be, you know, an average punter. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, um, we're expecting our punting skills to be challenged to the absolute limits. I mean, we're going to be travelling on some pretty big rivers and here in Cambridge, it's, it's pretty tame by comparison.
Kore kana wana poko kakweta siwani Isidu isidu ngibo inadu inadu Isidu isidu ngibo inadu inadu Nikna tama nikna Solo tama